Hello, hello everybody. How is everyone doing? I am good. Just hanging here at, uh, at the house with the family. We are just gonna get um, get dinner started, you guys. This is a recipe that I've never made before. I've also never eaten it before. So bear with me. Let's hope it's not a complete disaster. My friend Alex again gave me the recipe. She's also the one that gave me the recipe for the sweet potato casserole. So the sweet potato casserole was awesome, amazing, hey. totally good. Um, hey. But that one was an actual recipe. It had gingerbread house. My son is letting you guys know he is making a gingerbread house right now. It's actually a gingerbread village that we found at Target. Um, super cool. It has a bunch of just little houses instead of one big one that he's making right now. So I'm going to jump on and share this video on my personal page while I explain to you guys. Please bear with me with this recipe today, you guys. Um, my friend Alex makes it for her family and she makes her dinners like most people make dinner they kind of just wing it and they throw a little bit of this a little bit of that so when it came to the recipe you guys she had ingredients but she didn't have amounts so we kind of worked it out a little bit last night of how much she thinks of each ingredient to make this uh, chicken so if it is a complete fail I will let you guys know what I did wrong um, hello hello everybody thank you for sharing I'm doing well how are you guys doing um, I do feel like I may be coming down with a cold because I am freezing right now and my house is a lot warmer than it normally is and I'm still freezing so I hope I'm not gonna get a cold but if I do I will be glad that it is done before the holiday um, Hi, Sarah. Hi, Elisa. Hi, Jesus. Katina, how is everybody? Cindy, um, I am going to make this chicken, you guys. I hope that it is a, not a complete fail. I hope that I do it some justice for my friend Alex because her sweet potato casserole, you guys, was amazing. Like, hands down, the best sweet potato casserole I think I have ever had. And... Um, that's saying something because I don't like sweet potato casserole, so typically the ones that I have had are not good. <laughs> but we have even eaten some of the leftovers. My husband had it today with um, steak and macaroni and cheese and sweet potato casserole, and he said the macaroni and cheese and sweet potato casserole together were really, really good. So you're welcome, Elisa. I hope you like it and enjoy it. Um, I forgot to preheat my oven, so it's trying to get up to 400 right now. And like I have explained before, it takes my oven forever to get to temperature. So, um, we will get started, you guys. Um, a lot of my giveaway winners receive their gifts today. It's really exciting when my phone alerts me. I use this app that um, I just type in my email to this app, and it automatically collects all my emails and grabs all the shipping information off of them. And then it's all, like, right there for me. And it notifies me when things have shipped, and it notifies me when things have been delivered. So, like, it's been going crazy all day today because people have been getting their giveaway prices. Is. So I really, really, really hope that people start posting pictures of what they got because I love seeing it. Obviously, it's one thing to buy it online, but then to see it in person at somebody's house is really cool. Um, hi, Dad. Um, okay, will somebody please comment? My dad um, can't hear. This is a problem that's been happening with Facebook. It happened to me earlier today. Um, if you cannot hear, unfortunately, you need to completely sign out of Facebook and log back in to get sound. So if you could type that out so that anybody that's having the problem can see it. Um, I can even, I think I can even comment. So let me get in here a second. To get sound back on, sign out of Facebook app completely and sign back in to here. Um, so hopefully that helps anybody that is having a problem with sound. If you can't hear me, read the comments. I commented if you can read it. Um, or if you want to shoot my dad a text message, that would be good too. Perfect. Thank you, Sarah. You got him covered. So hopefully he will read that and do what he is supposed to. Uh, so our oven is going to be preheated to 400. We are going to use boneless, skinless chicken breast. Her recipe didn't say how many for the amount of topping. So I just guessed, I did four, since she has about five people in her family, three of them being kids. So I'm guessing, you guys, guessing on this recipe. So I use boneless, skinless, 
If I don't use my chicken from my butcher box that I told you about the other day, um, I usually get my chicken from there, but all I have left from the chicken that I got from them are thighs and tenderloins. So I needed some breasts, so I pulled these out of the deep freeze. They're my boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So what we are gonna do, we have our oven at 400, you guys. Um, I'm just gonna use a regular um, baking dish. I am, however, going to line it with tin foil in the bottom because in her recipe she does warn um, to try not to get too messy with the sauce because it will burn in the pan. And I don't wanna have to wrestle it out of my pan when we're done eating. I don't wanna have to soak it. Kingston, thank you. They're so excited, you guys. I will show you when we are done cooking this chicken, I will I will give you guys a little sneak peek of their gingerbread houses they are making with dad right now. So I'm gonna put tin foil on the bottom so that I can just pull this out, you guys, and not have to really soak my pan tonight when we are done eating. Um, it's spelling um, my name incorrectly. It's okay. It happens. Oh, I see it. It happens. It happens so much that I don't even really notice it anymore. Yep, but the, my first name's R-Y-L-I-E. Riley, um, it is spelt a little different than normal. My mom said R-A-L-E-Y was the boy way, and the way I she spells it is the girl way. <laughs> it has, though, um, made it so that I can never find anything with my name on it in a store. It's never spelled right. So... That's okay, it just makes me special. So we are gonna start off by slicing our chicken breasts in half because what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice them in half and then, yay, you have sound, I'm glad that worked. Um, we are gonna slice it in half and then we're gonna stick a piece of cheese in there and close it up, you guys. Um, I always kind of battle with myself on the best way to slice a chicken breast so that it's um, a nice clean cut and you can um, put it back together nicely. So what I have noticed is um, you have a chicken breast and you see you've got that vein that comes down. So what I do is I cut on the bigger side, on that half of it, I slice into it. Um, so I will show you like this, the bigger side of it, you guys, and then I just start slicing, um, making sure that you don't cut into your hand and you also, don't cut into the chicken breast too far. My son almost fell off the chair. So this is what, this is the goal. This is what I try to make it look like. Just nice and filleted into like a heart. So you cut into the bigger side so that it looks like that, you guys. Hi, Tina. How are you? That is my goal. So we've got that one sliced. Um, when you are slicing that direction on the fatter side, you will have your chicken sliced in different directions. That does throw me off from time to time because it doesn't seem right because I am cutting backwards. But you, since you have two sides of the breast of the chicken, it will cause you to slice into your chicken in two different directions. So one will open to the left and one will open to the right, but they will both split down the middle. Um, just do not slice it all the way through. You wanna be able to place your cheese in there and just close it back up, you guys. So that is what we are doing. Um, it says your cheese of choice. I wanna say my friend Alex says she uses like Swiss or provolone. I have, and I know I'm not gonna say this right, Gru Gruyere cheese. Um, it says it's a very mild cheese. It's like the only cheese I have in my fridge that's not Colby Jack. And I just don't get the impression that Colby Jack would taste well with Dijon mustard and um, maple syrup. I just, and let's, I'm going to be honest, I don't like mustard. <laughs> So I um, messaged my friend Alex and was, you know, super apprehensive about it and especially even more so because when I messaged her and said you don't have measurements and she said she does it to taste and I said no way am I going to be tasting this sauce before it's baked. <laughs> um, hi Roxy, how are you? So I have our, my breast filleted, you guys. I just did four. I'm going to wash my hands. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands, slice my cheese, and then touch my chicken again. That is what I think. Oh no, Tina, how nerve wracking. Um, thank you for sharing so many times. I'm super nervous today, you guys, just because I am nervous about this recipe. I have never made it before. I've never eaten it before. I don't know what it's supposed to look like, um, what it's, 
what it's supposed to taste like. I tried to rest, find a recipe that looked similar to it and ended up getting distracted and never found one. So I'm going to do my best, you guys, my very, very, very best. We've got 44 people watching me now that Tina did her wonderful share job. Um, and I appreciate it very, very much. Um, let's see. I think she finally answered. Okay. Cause I also had another question cause I don't, you know, there's real maple syrup and then there's the artificial kind that we cook with or we use with our, our pancakes and stuff. And I have both. And so I asked her, I'm like, am I supposed to use the fake kind or the real kind? Cause I do have both. She said she's never used the real before. So we are going to use the fake kind, you guys. Um, hi charity. Hi Taylor. Welcome. You guys, we are making um, maple Dijon mustard chicken. So I'm gonna cut, you guys, I said I picked Gruyere cheese. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not very good at saying it. So if somebody knows how to pronounce it, uh, I would appreciate it. Um, Le Gruyere, it's a mild, smooth, and well-balanced with fruity notes from Switzerland, you guys. Um, like I said, it, is the only cheese that I had in my fridge that I smell everything. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, it's the only cheese in my fridge that I had that wasn't like a Marble Jack and Colby Jack and things like that or just like American cheese slices from Kraft. <laughs> yeah, we, we jumped up there for a little bit, Tina. I think we're probably going to hit our 25 live view goals. Um, I might have to change our goals to staying there for longer than a couple of minutes because it does, I do notice it fluctuate a lot when somebody sends, first shares it out and they drop off pretty quickly. Um, but we will hang out and see how it goes tonight. Gris, Gruyere. That's still really hard to say even with it phonetically um, typed out, Deanna. Thank you. It's beautiful. We're going to show all of the viewers your gingerbread house when we're done with the chicken, okay? I want to make it right. You're done. Okay. I'll make sure I show them. So I'm just going to slice this cheese, you guys. Um, do little slices of it so that I can um, kind of pack it in our chicken and, and make it so it's like nice and melty. Kind of like a cordon bleu type of situation with the cheese. Um, my, my husband is watching. Hi, husband from the living room. So I'm cutting out my cheese, you guys, to uh, Stuff it in. Ooh, that was daring. Okay, he is that confident with his gingerbread house. He picked it up and carried it to show it off, you guys. This is Kingston's gingerbread house. He did amazing today, you guys. He just had a little bit of help from dad to put the frosting on, but he did all the candies. Ta da! The red one is trying to get off. The red one's trying to get off of the house, he said. All right, buddy, you can put it back so it doesn't fall apart. Okay. Um, thank you. He is adorable. He is my sweetie. He's my oldest, and he is he is my boy. Um, my youngest is a daddy's boy, so he is. That's how it. Yeah. He he did a good job. All right, Crystal. Hello, Cindy. A cheese slicer. I'm not even sure if this is even really specifically for cheese. I know it's a, a mandolin or mandolin is what they call it. Um, I've sliced my hand and finger on this so many times. I use it, what I really like it for is like slicing up potatoes really thin, slicing up strawberries and stuff for like fruit cakes and stuff really thin. Hello, hello, hi everybody. Kingston is showing off his gingerbread houses while I am slicing up some cheese to put in our chicken. Ooh, this is a really colorful part. Really colorful part, you guys. Do you see it? All right, we will show them your second house, and then we will get to cooking this chicken. This is Kingston. He's four years old, and he he put those candies on his house with Daddy's help. Red. Red. Yep. Yeah. Color. Lots of colors. Yep. Yeah. Rainbow. Rainbow. Okay. Thank you, buddy. You can put that one back too. All right, you guys, how's everybody doing today? We have a lot of views going on right now. And so I am going to stop what I'm doing before I touch the chicken again. And we are we will do a giveaway, you guys. I'm feeling it. Might as well do it. Hi, Sherry. Deanna, thank you. Um, I, 
I don't know which kid of mine actually looks like me, but it's a compliment that he looks like me because I think he's a little adorable little kid. So thank you for that. He is my oldest. Like I said, he's four years old. And my two-year-old is a daddy's boy. So he's in the living room with daddy watching TV. Tina says she loves your gingerbread house, Kingston. Thank you. So sweet. He, you guys made his night, that's for sure. He loves all of you guys talking to him and hanging out in the kitchen with me. All right, you guys, we're going to do two giveaways as it sits right now. So if you are new to my page, hi, I am Riley. I am Mom Fueling Hungry Boys. I'm not a professional. I have never been to school for cooking. Um, this is just a passion of mine. I started it about two months ago, and I just share recipes with you guys. I like to do live interactive videos so that if we're doing a new recipe or a recipe I've done before, we can work out the kinks. You guys can ask questions. You guys can see how it's done. I'm a very visual person, and I like to cook with visuals so that I know what a step looks like because sometimes verbiage that's used in recipes is intimidating and can be confusing, and I want to take that all out of the equation. I don't want people to be intimidated by cooking or intimidated by recipes. Um, thank you, Renee, you are so sweet. Um, if you want to like and follow my page, once we hit 2,000 likes and follows on my page, I will do um, two more giveaways. I do giveaways as my way of telling you guys thank you. I wouldn't be here without you guys. This hey. is a passion project of mine. I don't, I don't make any money from it yet, but I like to give back to you guys because yes, you guys, yes, honey, yep. So he got a scruff, a love rescue pet yesterday at Target. Um, so you rescue the pet, it comes in a little ball, you can't even really tell what it is, and you give it a bath, and you brush it, and you dry it, and then you have a rescue pet. So this is his rescue pet, you guys. Ew. All right. Yep. The cheese smells yucky. It, it's a stinky cheese, yep. Can you go with daddy, please, buddy? Thank you. He doesn't like the gru, gruyere, gru, gruyere, gruyere. That's what it is, gruyere. Melissa likes your bear. Sherry says you're a cutie. Yeah, I mean, uh, that Tina, we are so fat, far past what I ever imagined when I started this. I my, my hope, honestly, was 25 live views to stay there for longer than five minutes. And we hit that almost every time now for the last two weeks. And that's so awesome. I'm starting to really get to know a lot of you. Um, you guys are sharing family recipes with me and hints and tips and tricks. And you guys are super supportive and I wouldn't be with, here without you. So what I do um, is I do giveaways in my show to show my appreciation for you actually hanging out and staying here with me while I cook. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional, so I do mess up. I drop stuff. Um, I try not to do any steps ahead of time because, A, I don't want two of everything in my house. You know, if I'm making a cake, I don't want to be putting a cake in and pulling a cake out because who needs two cakes in a house with you know, only four people. So I, I like to keep it real. I like to keep it honest. I don't do any steps ahead of time. Um, you guys who have watched me for a couple of weeks now see that I do mess up and recipes sometimes don't work out or I have questions in the middle of the recipe and I like to keep it real like that. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for listening to my little spiel. Um, and thank you, Tina. You guys are being so sweet. Yes, it is a cute little, neat little idea for a stuffed animal to have them rescue it. It, it. it shows kids that it may not look cute at first, but you can make it cute and adorable and name it and take care of it. So it's a really neat idea. I like it. Um, so we are going to do two giveaways, you guys. Um, as it sits right now, we've kind of fluctuated over the 75 mark for a little bit. So what your guys' job is to do now is just just to, um, thank you, Charity, just comment your name. Once you've commented your name once, please just don't comment it again, um, and I will make my way through the list. I will say your name out loud as I tape it into my computer. Once you hear your name, you know you are entered in, and we will just go through this really quick. Once I get everybody um, to, to comment and I get your name entered in, we will do two, uh, two giveaways. The last person to comment before I call it um, will pick two numbers for us. Those numbers will be the names of the numbers that we pull of who wins. Once I pull your name once, you do get removed so you cannot be pulled again. I do that to keep the odds um, the best in your favor. So we're going to start off with Franny. 
Robinson. And it, bear with me, you guys. My my computer does autocorrect sometimes. So if I say your name and it's a little butchered, um, I'm really, really sorry, you guys. So I got Franny Robinson, Renee. All right, Ray, Renee Medea, Medina. Um, you're human like us. Some recipes don't go the way you want it. No, Sherry, we have had a couple of fails on here or a couple of ones that we've had to change a little bit, but we uh, we make it happen. We make it work. Sherry, you are entered in. Thelma Power, you are entered in as well. Jasmine. How is everybody doing tonight? How is everybody's middle of the week work day? Um, if you are new here, I am a stay-at-home mom, busy taking care of my two little kiddos. My husband has been off work for um, a week or so now, which has been super, super nice. He's been able to help around the house with the kiddos and such. All right, so we have Jasmine, Stefan, Asia Myers, Sarah Peterson, Brenna Bauer, Jesus, Medina. Um, if you're ever curious on what kind of stuff you can win, just go to either my my Facebook page or my actual website, and I have some pictures of people who have won in the past. So we have Jesus, Medina, Thelma Power, I got you already, Tina Fink, um, my dad, he always enters in, never wins. Well, he won once, so I won't say never. Crystal Sewell, so so well, you've never corrected me on how to say it. Crystal, so I might just butcher it every week. Megan Clark, it's locked. I'm sorry, buddy. I can't help right now. All right, Cindy Whelan's, Rory. Cindy Whelan's. Linda Woman, Rory Peterson, which is my husband entering in. <laughs> um, what's wrong, Rory? You're in the wrong input. Elisa Clark, Ann Gomez. We just got a brand new TV, so I've messed around with it a lot, but my husband hasn't. Um, so he, he's kind of stuck right now. Cause I just, I was using, um, the fire stick, Rory. All right. Sandy, bless him. Cindy. Basswell, Basswell. You guys, if I butcher your name and you would like to correct me, please correct me. Roxy Blake, just do it phonetically and then I will learn it the best I can. Thelma, I got you for the third time. Just try not to over comment your name. I do not enter you in multiple times and all you do is slow down the process because usually I have to double check if I entered you in or not. Kelsey Breakrights, Roxy, I think I got you. Nope, I had a Roxy Blake. Now we need a Roxy McKinley. Sandra Falmer. Weird, every time I type in your name in caps lock, Falmer, it, it puts two stars for the FU, that's so funny. Never had to do that before. Franny Robinson, I believe I got you, yep. Um, Roxy, how do you share this video to your page? In the bottom left-hand corner, um, if you touch my face, and then in the bottom left-hand corner, there should be a share button, and you just click that and um, share it that way. I've had some people say that that share button only allows them to do a watch party, which I don't recommend, because then I can't talk to them. If they comment, only you can see it. Um, if that's the case, just jump off of this video, go to my face, my Mom Feeling Hungry Boys page, scroll down to the video, and in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a share button, and share it that way and then get back into the video. Those are the two ways that I have heard of um, that work the best. Sandra Fulmer. Sandra Ra Fulmer. Um, Franny Robinson got you. Roxy McKinley. Deanna Claffey. It sounds familiar, but that might have just been from previous weeks. Yes, just from previous entries. So Deanna... Fluffy and Gomez, Elisa Clark. 
How is everybody doing, you guys? Tonka, how do we post on your community section? That is a good question. Um, can anybody help her out that has done it before? I had somebody else ask me this, and I am not sure what the answer is, but I can definitely grab Crystal Sewell. Either way works. Um, I can grab my iPad really quick and um, and look and see how to do it. Um, my apron, thank you. I am not sure. This one, I am actually not sure. My mom got me my other one, but this one, probably Target. That would be my guess. It doesn't have a tag on it, so I'm not sure. Um, all right. Uh, Madison Morris. I didn't, Madison. I don't believe I said your name, Madison. I think I just got you. Josh and Cassidy. Cassidy. Graham. Shannon. Sweeney. Sandra, I got you. Sydney Basswell. Basswell. So I'm saying it right the second time, not the first time. <laughs> Brooke. Brooke Riley. Hi, Brooke Riley. My first name was Riley. Deanna, I got you. Um, sorry, you don't know why it did your name twice. It's okay. I only did it once. I don't know why it keeps coming up three times. No worries, you guys. I get it. Facebook has problems. Um... <laughs> Madeline Rose, Emily Larson, doing great. I'm glad you're doing great, Sandra. I hope everybody is making it through the long week. It feels so long, you guys. I feel like the closer and closer we get to Christmas, the longer and longer the weeks feel. Um, I am cooking a... It's like a, a cheese stuffed Dijon maple syrup chicken. That is the best way I can describe it. A mustard chicken is what it's called, but there's so much more to it. I didn't didn't want to leave out the other parts. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're cooking a chicken. We're just taking a little break to do a quick little doing a quick quick little giveaway. Charity. I don't think I entered you in yet. Charity. Didn't you hear you call my name? Katina, I did not, so thank you for commenting again. Um, a mom of four boys, 12, 8, 4, and 1. That's a busy household. That would be my house if I kept trying to have kids. I know if I went for a girl, I would keep getting boys. So we called it quits because two boys is enough boys for me. <laughs> Newbie, welcome. Josh and Cassidy. Um, Jenny. Did you get the TV figured out, babe? No. Well, he's, he's TV-less, you guys. Kathy. Welcome, Kathy. Welcome, welcome, Charlene. Hello. It's like I'm waiting for you to come live every night. That's so sweet. Um, I always wonder if I'm over overly on here or not on enough. Sierra, I got you. Um, Sherry, I got a Sherry. But I don't know if it was you. Nope. So let's get you a sherry. By Conan. Sherry by Conan. Charlene, hello, hello. How are you, Charlene? Your last name is one of the hardest to remember to spell. <laughs> Yep, stopped at four. And, you know, see, with that, I would be like, come on. The next one has to be a girl. And when I would end up with five. <laughs> Sharon Leach. Hello, hello. Welcome, you guys. Never a dull moment. And that's nice. I feel like, you know, Janice, I got you. I feel like, I like the commotion. I like the busy. It's weird when they are gone. Um, they go to daycare two days a week to get social interaction. And when they're not here, it's 
I sleep in, but it's like really weird. I sit around and don't really know what to do with myself. And so that's why I kind of started this page. I had those two days and my mom's like, you always wanted to start uh, cooking something. And she's like, do it. She's like, why wait until they're in kindergarten? Why not do it now and get it started? So that's, my mom was the push, you guys. Um, Allison, I think I got you. I want to make sure, Allison. Nope. Yeah, I just entered you in. I'm like, what? I swear. Kitty, Curry. We are getting close. Haley Smith. Ooh, from the UK. What time is it where you are at and where are you, if you don't mind saying? Um, That's crazy. I've had a couple of people from different countries. It's always super exciting when I've made it that far. Blair Poole. Um... Love watching me missing the boys. Don't you ever come to the mall anymore? Honestly, we went to the mall for a Halloween and that was like the first time in a long time. It was weird to see all the different stores. Um, me Mexico had opened up in the mall and it was really different. But yes, rarely we come to the mall. Um, you're in Texas. Welcome, you guys. I'm in North Dakota. I was born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada and I live here now with my, with my husband and kids. Hoping to not live here forever, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, so, all right, you guys, really, really, really fast, and then we're going to do our two giveaways. I'm going to just run through the names. If you don't hear your name by the time I'm done, comment it, okay? So we're going to start from the top. If I butcher your name, I'm sorry. Franny Robinson, Renee Medina, Sherry LaPointe, Thelma Power, Jasmine Steffen, Asia Myers, Sarah Peterson, Brenna Bauer, Jesus Medina, Tina Fink, Dean Rasmussen, Crystal Sewell, Megan Clark, Cindy Whelans, Linda Woolman, Rory Peterson, Franny Robinson, Elisa Clark, Ann Gomez, Sandy Blessum, Cindy Basswell, Roxy Blake, Kelsey Breakwright, Roxy McKinley, Sandra Fulmer, Deanna Claffey, Ann Gomez, Elisa Clark, Tonka Fisher, Madison Morris, Cassidy Graham, Graham, Shannon Sweeney, Brooke Riley, Madeline Rose, Emily Larson, Sabrina Mayring, Charity Hatley, Katina White, Jesse Snyder, Jennifer ha Jacquez, Kathy Kamen, Sierra Artnot, Sherry Baikonin, Charlene Fedija. <laughs> Charlene, I don't know how to say it. Sharon Leach, Janice Johnson, Allison Fowler, Kitty Curry, Haley Smith, and Blair Poole. All right, so we got cold North Dakota. It is um, Juan, Joanne, Joanne Mills, North Dakota as well. Sarah, welcome. I hope you got your gift when you got home, if you made it home. I said your name twice. Thank you for telling me. So we got Elisa Clark twice. Oh, yep, there you are. Boom. Thank you for being honest. I appreciate it. Um, Terrell, I better get you in there. Make sure I spell it right or I'll never hear the end of it. Trail Burley. All right. I pronounced it right. Jenny, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Jenny Castillo, I, I put you in here? Like you guys, I'm losing my mind. There's so many names tonight. It's so exciting. Um, if you guys, please, please, please hang around. Um, hang around after I do the giveaway. Some of you guys, I get it. You just want to see if you can win. Um, but I, um, I would like if you guys could hang around and watch this. It's a super quick recipe once we get going. Yes, Honest Peace people are awesome, Shannon. Alabama, that's awesome. Okay, you guys, Cindy, you were the last one to comment. So your job is to pick two numbers between one and 10. Those will be the winners of our giveaways. So pick two numbers. I know that from my kitchen to your phone or tablet or whatever is a little delayed, so I'll give you a second to pick two numbers. Um, my poor husband is just walking around with nothing to do because he can't figure out the TV. Um, so let's do this really quick. 
Yes, you're going to hang around frowning. Thank you. Well, welcome to my house. My kids are being crazy because they're, they're building a fort. <laughs> I'm going to try and get this TV started while we wait for Cindy to comment. Two numbers. Um, get this started. You would think, you know, men are supposed to be good at technology. And he's not. Okay, 8 and 10. So, mom's got the TV working. I did good. 8 and 10. All right. I'm not sure. Um, just got to turn this off. All right. So, we got, hopefully, we can get some cartoons Ooh, look holiday gingerbread showdown there we go kingston can can brush up on his skills you guys my christmas tree has been up for like a month now <laughs> perfect all right so there you go got the tv working hi babe how are you all right eight and ten ready you guys I'm gonna add Bev's name in. Bev, if you hang out, we are doing a giveaway really fast. Two giveaways. Um, they're watching The Grinch. Which one? There are three Grinches, maybe four, you guys. They're, they've done that movie a couple of times now. Okay, so eight and 10. I'm gonna move you guys closer so I don't have to climb on top of my kitchen counter. Eight and 10. Get this straight. All right, you guys, remember when I pull your name, I do remove it. So you will not see your name twice. Hey, Zeus, I'm sorry. So that's one. Two, Charlene, sorry. Three, Kelsey, break right. Sorry, girl. Number four. Deanna Clappy. Sorry, Deanna. Number five. Elisa Clark. Number six. Thank you for the cabinet decorations. Yes, they, they're really easy to do too. All right, number six, Franny, sorry. Cindy Baswell, I'm sorry. All right, you guys, and number eight. Cindy Whelan, Cindy, your job is just to comment, or not comment, send me a direct message on the Mom Feeling Hungry Boys page, your shipping information, and I will get something sent off to you. If you talk to previous winners, I am pretty quick and efficient at getting something sent off, so um, just give me your shipping information, and I will get something sent off, you guys. So, number nine. Jennifer, sorry, Jennifer. All right, you guys, and our second winner is Charity Hatley. Charity, congratulations, Charity. It's funny, Charity just commented congratulations for the other winner. So, you guys, those are our two giveaway winners for tonight. Super awesome. Just go and private message me your shipping information and I will get something sent off to you right away. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. We're gonna keep going on our chicken. We have our oven preheated to 400. We have our chicken um split in half you don't want to cut it all the way through you just want to fillet it into like a heart so that we can put some chicken in there or some chicken put some cheese in there cheese in our chicken yes congratulations everybody you guys this is i do giveaways lately it's been every show and that just it 
I'm sure my husband's like, oh, but I'm just so happy about it. I cannot begin to explain, you guys. I It shows you on Facebook um, like how many people your post has reached. So like how many people you've shown up in their news feeds for. You guys, my one of my posts from like November 10th, was 15,000 people I showed up on their news feed. And it, but in those 15,000, 5,000 people watched me for at least three seconds. That means 5,000 people saw my face. Like that scares me. It makes me really nervous because I am not a professional and I've never done this before, but it's super exciting. And yeah, uh, I cannot thank you guys enough. So my way of thanking you is by doing giveaways. That's what I do. So. We have our chicken, like I said, um, we split it. If you have never split your chicken before, I recommend the easiest way to do it. If you have a boneless, skinless chicken breast, is find the side that is thicker between this vein and cut on that side to fillet it open like this. You guys, and then I'm just gonna stick I don't know how much cheese, she doesn't really say. We're a cheese family. I am a little intimidated by this cheese, you guys. She recommends, I think, Swiss or provolone. Um, I picked, somebody commented how to pronounce it, Gruyere. I picked Gruyere cheese, which is supposed to be a very mild, fruity cheese. So I picked it because it is like the only cheese in our house that's not like Velveeta Kraft or Colby Jack, <laughs> and so I thought this might go nicely with maple syrup and Dijon mustard. So I'm just gonna shove a couple of pieces inside of my filleted chicken, you guys, and then I'm gonna lay my chicken in my pan. Like I said, I put a little bit of foil down just because in her recipe, she does warn to not put the sauce everywhere because it will burn. And so I just don't feel like spending my whole night soaking this pan to try and get this burnt mixture off of it. So I just put down a little bit of foil. I'm sure you could use parchment paper or um, something along those lines to protect your pan so that you don't have to do the same thing I don't want to do and spend an hour trying to clean your pan. So I'm just sticking the cheese inside of this breast, you guys. It is a... Um, harder dryer cheese so it is a little difficult to get it shoved in there but I also warned you guys um when you are slicing these because it is the chicken breast you will have the slice going different directions so some of your slices will open to the left and some of them will open to the right I just want to warn you of that because it does throw me off sometimes I feel like I'm doing it wrong because I'm cutting the opposite direction but it is normal because your chicken breast is left and right all right so i'm gonna wash my hands off and then we are gonna we are gonna mix together you guys this sauce um i did ask if it is fake maple syrup or real and we are gonna use fake maple syrup i'm sure you can use the real stuff if you like the taste of it i don't really like the taste of real maple syrup um it has kind of an alcohol taste to it it has a bitter taste of maple syrup that I don't really like. So I do prefer the fake kind. Um, yeah, um, I agree with that. Our family, um, I don't know. I've never been called part rat, but we eat a lot of cheese. Um, but a lot of very basic cheese, very Americanized cheese. Uh, we don't really like very stinky cheese. My husband kind of likes blue cheese, like in wings and stuff like that, but we eat a lot of cheese, string cheese, cheese slices, cheese and crackers. I mean, you name it. We like to snack on it. All right, you guys. So I'm actually going to grab a different maple syrup out of my cupboard. Um... Because the maple syrup that we use with like our waffles and stuff is Aunt Jemima's like buttery blend. So I don't want to use that. So I did go out and just get Hungry Jack original maple syrup. Um, like I said, she's never used it, but you can, I don't see why not use a pure maple syrup with it. Um, harder and yellow in color. My, my Gruyere cheese is I guess, yeah, yellower than Swiss. Um, but it is still pretty white. But yeah, it's very hard and very crumbly. Um, but on the package, the Gruyere cheese says it's mild, smooth, and well-balanced with fruity notes. So, 
We will see if we like it, you guys. So we are going, so we have our chicken ready. We have it in the pan. We are going to mix together. I'm just gonna scroll to what kind of recipe, kind of, we have a recipe to go by. So we need a cup of Dijon mustard, you guys. I just, I don't like mustard. Um, so I just went with Coops Dijon. I don't, I don't. <laughs> didn't know what to do you guys I it's hard to cook things that you don't like but I have to do it often because I am a very picky eater and my kids are not so we will see if they like it we are gonna do a cup of Dijon mustard in our bowl which is gonna be like this entire bottle you guys it smells well it just <laughs> I just can't get down with mustard, you guys. I um, hated mayo as a kid also, and my dad scarred me for life once. Um, he was having me make the homemade ranch dressing at home, which I had never done, and I was probably 12, maybe younger, and he's like, hey, can you follow the directions on the package and just make the ranch for the weekend, blah, 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 and I'm like, yeah, sure. Come to find out there's a cup of mayonnaise in it. I didn't eat ranch for like a year because of that. Um, a cup of Dijon mustard, you guys, into our bowl. Just a small bowl for mixing. Kingston, honey, we need to calm down a little bit. Thank you. He just gets so excited playing with dad, you guys. So excited. Did you or will you salt and pepper your chicken? She doesn't say to, so I'm not going to. We're just going to slather our chicken in this, you guys. So I'm, I'm saying, wish us luck. Um, If there's some sort of change that I need to make to this once we eat it you guys I will definitely let you know but as of it as the way the recipe says it says slice chicken in half place cheese in the middle place the chicken in a baking dish pour the mixture over the chicken try not to make a huge mess so it doesn't burn and bake it for 15 to 20 minutes at 400 degrees that's it so we will see so we have a cup of Dijon mustard she said and I quote if you do not like mustard, use more maple syrup. She said at the most, use half a cup of maple syrup. So I'm going to do half a cup because I don't like mustard. But if you like Dijon mustard, you only can, you don't have to use this much. You can use like a tablespoon or two tablespoons, she said, and just make a nice blend of it. I'm scared of it, you guys. So we're going to do half a cup. Um... I'm a big baby. So she says the maple really, really counteracts the bitter of the Dijon mustard and brings out the, the nice notes of the mustard. So we're gonna believe her and we're gonna do this thing, you guys. Um, so I did half a cup of syrup. Then she says to do one tablespoon of each of the vinegars. So we have apple cider vinegar and we have red wine vinegar. So just a tablespoon of each of them. Like I said, she does say just to do these to taste. So if you're making this and you like mustard, go ahead and do the mustard and the maple syrup, mix it up, then do, you know, and kind of just taste it until it tastes good to you with the maple syrup or with the vinegars. Um, she said she kind of just does it to taste and she kind of just wings it like that. So if you make it once and you can kind of tell where you want to make a change, go for it because these are not exact measurements. These are just what she gave to me because I'm a weirdo and I needed a recipe to follow for you guys. So we got our tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, our tablespoon of red wine vinegar. You guys, we're just gonna whisk this up till it creates almost like a marinade. And we are gonna spread it all over our chicken. I don't know how you're not gonna make a mess with this. That's why I just put down a piece of tin foil because I knew putting this on there, I don't see how you could not make a mess. So I'm gonna make a mess and just hope that it doesn't burn too badly onto my pan or my chicken or whatnot. So that's what it looks like, you guys. 
Uh, it doesn't smell good, you guys. I am not gonna lie. Um, but when it comes to reviewing what it tastes like, I will make sure that um, I let you guys know what my kids think of it and what my husband thinks of it. He's not a huge mustard fan, but he does eat it on sandwiches and stuff. Because I asked him, I said, do you like mustard? And he goes, oh, give me a good turkey club sandwich and put some mustard on it. Yeah, I like it. But he doesn't like it like it. Um, yeah, Sherry, I'm about the same. You make it once and then you change it up. Um, a lot of the recipes that I put on this page that I have made before, I have made my alterations. And even my recipes um, of my grandma's from her cookbook, I make alterations because there's certain nuts that I don't like or would prefer. And so I have been making those changes as well. So I probably wasn't supposed to like douse it like this, but I did it anyway. I think I am going to throw some fresh black pepper on top of it, you guys, just to add a little bit of texture. We'll see if pepper is bad with maple syrup and Dijon mustard. So that's it, you guys. I want to say our giveaway took more time. We're going to throw this in the oven at 400 for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, the conversion wasn't a straight shot. She does bake in Celsius because she lives in Australia. And um, so the conversion was like 392 degrees and I just rounded it to 400. So I hope that wasn't a mistake too. Um, always open your oven away from your face, you guys. Let all that 400 degrees bellow out before you put your face down there. Please don't open it like this. It might sound stupid, it might sound silly, but sometimes you just forget and you crouch down to look at it really quick and that is a lot of heat coming out at your face really fast. I have had people um, melt wigs, melt eyelashes, burn faces, it burn dogs, burn kids. So just be careful with your oven, you guys. So I'm gonna set this timer. I am gonna, oh, I always err on the side of caution, you guys, whenever there is a time to bake something, I always go with the lesser time because you can always add more time. You can't ever take it back. So my oven tends to cook really, really fast. So I am going at the 15 minutes. I'm gonna take a look at it, see if my chicken seems done. And then, who won the kid, the, the five away? I almost said it just like that. Um, the giveaway winner was Charity Hatley and remind me you guys charity hatley and cindy baswell was it right baseball that b-a-s baswell i think kitty i think that was who it was charity hatley and yeah i'm going with that anybody want to chime in charity and Cindy, I want to say two C's, Charity and Cindy. So that's it, you guys. Um, we're going to do this mustard chicken. I think we're just going to do steamed veggies on the side of it. My son wants to just have the rest of the sweet potato casserole because it was so good. If you are hearing about this sweet potato casserole and have no idea what I'm talking about, I made it on Monday night. Uh, it's a little different because it doesn't have marshmallows on top. It has this yummy, delicious pecan topping. And in the recipe, I say to make more of the topping. And I would say flat out double it because it was so good, you guys. We were searching for pieces of that topping to go with our sweet potatoes. Um, every single bite that my kids took of pork chop that night had sweet potatoes on top of it. It was so good. We don't even really like sweet potato casserole, and my kids are now asking for it to have it with dinner tonight. That's how good it was. Um, Cindy W. Okay, so it was Cindy Wheeling, not Basswell. Sorry, guys. That's why I said, please correct me. Um, it's hard to keep the last name straight. I try my best, but it was a Cindy, so I got that right. But it was Cindy Wheeling. Cindy Wheeling. Okay. All right, you guys. So that's cooking. I will post a picture when it's done and an honest review of what each of my family members thought of this maple Dijon mustard cheese stuffed chicken. Um, it did not smell good, you guys. That vinegar um, in there was really, really strong, along with the mustard smell. So... We will see how it goes. 
Thank you guys for hanging out with me. We had two winners tonight and I'm going to just take a quick peek. I do have a schedule up. If this is your first time here and hanging out with me, I do have a December schedule up on my page. It is a just a rough schedule of what recipes and hopefully when I can get to them. I try to do um I try to do a side dish and a dinner during the week and our desserts on the weekends. Is how we have it worked out in December. Um we've got so we've done the sweet potato casserole. We're doing the mustard squares. So this weekend we have lemon squares, peanut butter fudge, and Reese's balls. Those are this weekend's yummy, yummy, delicious treats. Then December 9th, the slow cooker sausage stuffing. If you are listening, that is a Weight Watchers recipe. So I will post the Weight Watchers numbers and points and however that works. It's converted into all that stuff. This is a recipe. Um, somebody specifically asked me for some Weight Watchers recipes, so I'm going to do my best to work them in to my schedule as effortless as, and seamlessly as possible. So this is a slow cooker sausage stuffing, you guys. Um, and then we'll do a stuffed pork tenderloin. I stuff it with stuffing. So I might use that stuffing that we make on the 9th. I might put that in my my pork tenderloin if it's if it turns out really good. Then we have apricot fudge double chocolate mint dessert. The double double chocolate mint dessert is a giant Andes mint, like the ones you get from Olive Garden. It's a big cake that tastes just like that. Um, and then we'll do praline bridge mix, which is just like just a little treat that you have. My grandma has it at her bridge games. That's why it's called that. Um, then we'll do um, twice baked potato casserole, sun dried tomato chicken, cheesy ranch Chex mix, um, cream cheese coconut treats. Then we will do um, December 22nd is gluten free sugar cookies, frosted sugar cookies, gluten free frosted sugar cookies. Somebody asked me for gluten free and I'm going to do the same with that. I'm going to do my best to effortlessly and seamlessly work them into my recipes. Um, so I do want you guys to know that um, I do have a Weight Watchers ones now and a gluten free. I'm going to try and work more in um, when we start at the beginning of the year and we're out of the holiday treats recipes and then it'll be a little bit easier. Um, Yes, you're welcome, Cindy. Congratulations. You're on Weight Watchers. That's awesome, Erin. Yes. So I will put the points up. Um, also, if you guys have any um, any like guidance or tips on Weight Watchers, what kind of numbers I should look for, um, what kind of numbers are high and I should avoid because you guys are going to eat it because it's not worth all the points, let me know. I am new to that. Um, then we'll do cheesy pull-apart rolls, which are super easy and awesome to make for Christmas and Thanksgiving. We will do frosted peppermint cookies. They are to die for. Um, and then on December 30th, I will do my best to just do a day of New Year's Eve party treats that you guys can make in a cinch before you guys throw a party. So, um, yes, Anna, you're welcome. I, You guys, I do listen when you guys um, comment or message me. I am honest and I'm a real person. And some people are kind of shocked that I respond when I do. But I know that that's how I would want it to be if I were you guys. So if you guys need recipes and are tired of searching or want me to try a recipe that you really want but you are intimidated by the recipe for some reason or you just really would like a visual before you try and tackle it, send it my way, you guys. I am honest. I will do my best to work the recipes into my schedule as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, Sherry, there. I am excited. All of my grandma's holiday treats, I we're getting to the really good ones, the lemon squares and Reese's peanut butter balls and things like that. So hang out with me you guys it's gonna be worth it we're gonna have fun um i hope you guys just have a great holiday season with me i appreciate it and i will send you guys pictures when this chicken is done have a good night bye